Oh, I, I have to ask you about the draft that they're going to have for games. Would you have liked yeah. to have been part of a draft for picking games? Or do you like the old way where it was like, we get this one and you get that one, no matter what? Yeah, it'll be, I, I'm trying to figure out how that works. Because, you know, normally what happens with the conference is this. You, prior to the season, there's a number of games selected in advance. You know, maybe the first couple of weeks. And, you know, special date games like Thanksgiving, day after Thanksgiving, uh, Labor Day, things like that uh, are picked in advance. And so that's probably the draft they're talking about. And I can only imagine how that's going to work. Um, then you get into the season after the first few weeks, and then you start going on a 12-day or a six-day window where the selections are made either 12 days out, six days out, and there's a, a drafting order there. I got to think. Fox is going to have the first pick most of the times, may even have the first and second pick sometimes. Uh, CBS and NBC might be in some rotating window. NBC games might, a number of them might be selected in advance because they're prime time games, and that creates a whole different level of issues for the schools when they're moved to prime time, their fans, et cetera. Um, the other big question that, that's hanging out there is, NBC going to be able to flex games like they can on Sunday night? Are they going to be able to take a game and say, all right, this game's playing on Fox or it's on CBS, but it's such a big deal, we're going to flex it into Saturday night? My guess is they don't because there's going to be other college football games on Saturday night, whereas with the, the NFL NBC is the only game. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting draft prior to the season, and then it's going to be an interesting Monday morning phone call during the season. <laughs> I would think so, Bob. Thank you so much for all the time you always give us and, and the knowledge uh, that you've brought.